Sebastian Vettel, four times world champion, former Red Bull and Ferrari driver, now drives for Aston Martin. He is known for his helmet designs, especially in his glorious campaign with Red Bull. He used more than 90 different helmet designs just in about 5 years in his Red Bull years. You can watch the top 10 designs of his Red Bull years here. Now, it's time to take a look at his top 10 designs of his Ferrari years. As you know, there's so much pain in his Ferrari time, let alone to win a championship. When he moved to Ferrari in 2015, FIA banned drivers to swap helmet designs in every race like before. In order to comply with the rule, Vettel sticks to a basic white helmet with German color in his Ferrari campaign. Even if it's just a simple design, Vettel tried to explore more in his final stint in his Ferrari days. And this is a top 10 design from Vettel Ferrari helmet. Remember, this is not a ranked list. So without further ado, this is our list. In this special back-to-back -back Grand Prix in Austria, Vettel used a helmet featuring a topographic map of the mountain area around the track, which is located in Spielberg, Styria. In the detail, you can see the Red Bull ring showed up with a darker shade than the topographic lines. Reminds us of a successful stint on the Red Bull. There is a standout blue line. The metallic blue line represents Moor River, a river that flows from Slovenia into Austria and Croatia. The detail on the back, you can see the Styrian mountain silhouette. Vettel had gone for a helmet that celebrates old and new in the 1000th GP for Ferrari. It features technical drawings of Ferrari's very first F1 world championship contending car, the 125 that competed in 1950, and the latest one, the 2020 SF1000. In the new part, it painted in regular white, while the other, or the past part, using a brown old script look. In the middle of the helmet, Vettel put his German colors as usual, the helmet designed to mark 70 years of Ferrari engineering in Formula 1, where he claimed his sole 2020 podium. The helmet depicts a diverse crowd from various races, genders, and appearances, a prominent rainbow stripe, and a white to black gradient with his chosen message on the top of the helmet. The message on the top was taken from female aviation pioneer Amelia Earhart. No borders, just horizons, only freedom. Alongside the current F1 slogan, together as one. As Vettel promoted a message of diversity and inclusion, the helmet itself was prepared for a charity auction. After a 10-day bidding period, which concluded to coincide with the season-ending Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, the helmet was eventually sold for 225,000 euros. Very nice gesture from Vettel. In the USA 2018, Vettel used a helmet featuring both German and American flag. When German flag colors remained in the same position, the American flag design was present on the below area on the helmet. Featuring American red stripes flag behind and white stars on blue background, it's considered as the first inside and outside design of an F1 helmet. Since the most interesting part of this helmet is the inside part, as you can see the inside part of the helmet wrapped with the USA stars. Anyway, the race itself was won by Kimi Raikkonen as he missed the last podium spot. While racing in the Ferrari home GP, Monza, Vettel decided to go old school helmet design. Vettel's racing number, 5, is given a more traditional font, with other details echoing helmets from the past. The helmet painted in more washed white rather than glossy paint finished, and it was featuring German and Italian flag color. Flag colors are made up using adhesive tape to resemble a retro look. On the details, there were even dead bugs, tiny scratch marks, and oil smudges chipping around his retro styled helmet. Vettel is known for his relationship to the fellow German driver, Michael Schumacher. While racing in German soil, Vettel pays tribute to Michael Schumacher. If you look at the glance, it might not look very different and match a Schumacher helmet because it is still painted in full white. But if you look closer, you can see Schumacher's design layered in 3D over the top of it. On the underneath, we have Michael's design, Michael's original design from 2006 as a sort of 3D print that is difficult to see from afar. But when you get a little bit close, we can see a little bit more. There were Michael's stars, the Chinese dragon, and the signs on the side, and obviously, Michael's MS logo. Pure class from the fellow German. Japan is one of Vettel's favorite GP. For several years, the German driver has been getting helmet designs specially made for Japan GP. 
In the 2017 Japan Grand Prix, Vettel got help from Poland designer Agnieszka Ward. She made a full-hand Japan-themed design with acrylic paint. In addition to sponsor logos, the elements are all classic techniques of drawing. On the side, it had character Go, which is 5 in Japanese. The reason Vettel can get away with helmet design changes is that the rules say that only the basic design has to remain the same. And since his basic design is just the German flag, he can get creative with all that empty white space. Cheeky. Vettel had gone for a helmet that celebrates old and new. In Monaco 2019, as Lauda passed away just a week before the Grand Prix, Vettel paid tribute to him with a special helmet. Lauda won two world championships with Ferrari back in the 70s. So, no wonder, the helmet design is based on Ferrari Lauda's helmet, while his rival, Lewis Hamilton, used the McLaren Lauda's version, painted full in glossy red with Niki Lauda's signature name and font on the side, and a couple of Lauda's montage on the back. Simply, this is one of our favorite Vettel tribute helmets to date. In another his home GP, Vettel took the opportunity to use a tribute helmet. Vettel adopted the helmet design in tribute to Bernd Schneider, who endured a terrible year and a half with the Zack Speed Formula 1 team in the 80s, but went on to win the DTM title five times and the 1997 FIA GT Championship. Vettel said, Schneider is a touring car legend and he just turned 55. I've got number five on the car, so I thought it was a good time. The design helmet featured Schneider design when he raced for Zack Speed, including horizontal German flag on the side. For the home race at Hockenheim 2018, it is Christoph Niemann from Berlin honored to design Vettel's helmet. He was a 47-year-old illustrator, artist, and author. He was inspired by the winter tests in Barcelona in the same year. As a Formula 1 newbie, he was fascinated by the sound, which he wanted to implement on the helmet. He also found it appealing how man and machine work together on the limit. The designer said, For the fascinating sound of these cars, the circles are at the side. Vell told me how important it is in his job to concentrate on the essentials, so I started at the back with different stripes that overlap initially, but then become parallel and end up in a red line. What do you think about this design? If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel, Box Box Now. We make some amazing F1 content that we sure you'll enjoy. And maybe let us know which ones are your favorite in the comment section below. Until next time.